Americans can rest easy. President Biden's Thanksgiving is going to be luxurious. Scranton Joe will be spending the holiday with his family at the $30 million home of a billionaire on Nantucket, which some say looks widely out of touch to the problems everyday Americans are facing this Thanksgiving. What message does it send to the middle class Americans President Biden says that he's trying to help who are struggling this week to cover the cost of the most expensive Thanksgiving ever that the president is going to take a few days off at a billionaire's compound in Nantucket? Any increase in prices is something the president is concerned about. But I just want to be clear that there are abundance of turkeys available. There are about one dollar more for a 20 pound bird, which is a huge bird if you're feeding a very big family. A new poll says Americans' most pressing economic concern is inflation now that the holiday season has begun. But the president doesn't seem like he's in the mood to answer any questions on that. Thank you for your time and effort. I'll have plenty of time to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. When will you answer our questions, sir? The press is mad, but let's start with Nantucket. Yeah. You like that? Joe's literally giving us the bird, you know? You know what that means? A huge bird. Yeah, Within a huge the bird. bird. Thank you, Go. I love his message, though. Uh, relax, folks. Uh, you'll get your yams. If, this, if his goals got any lower, they'd be his poll numbers. <laughs> his poll numbers are so bad that Thanksgiving turkey was thinking of pardoning him. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. But he's got, he, he, you know, for him, to be, for him to be pleased with himself, he has to lower the bar so low. So he's just saying, hey, look, it's not so bad. So what if turkey costs a few more bucks? It's a big, it's a big bird. But have you noticed the, the go-to word in this administration is only. Crime's only up 5%, mm. right? Turkey's only a few dollars more. Joe's only losing half his mind. But only is now the phrase to defend every one of their declines. Well, first, though, it seems like, Dagan, they tell you that it's not happening, like things that you're seeing with your own eyes. Right. And then when they say, okay, well, it's happening, but it's not our fault. Right. And then they say, okay, actually, well, maybe we can do something to try to cover up for our bad policy from before, like re releasing oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, which actually won't have an effect. It will have no effect. And let me talk about the wholly incompetent cackling clatterbag that is our energy secretary. <laughs> why did they pick her? She's completely incompetent. She, well, I know why Biden picked her, because she's abroad. So thanks for setting women back 40 years by putting that woman who has no experience, who can't even communicate sensible energy policy. She had to be, so she was asked about how, you know, what's our uh, daily consumption, didn't know the answer. But she, didn't she have a say in figuring out how much oil to release from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve? So she should, th in theory, know, but of course not. But she's a woman, so yay, women. Now we all look like a bunch of dopes. Uh, quickly, they could reverse all of this, by the way. They could just come out tomorrow and say, uh, Green light keystone, we're not going to get in the way of energy permits on uh, federal land. We're not going to get in the way of financing for energy projects. And oil would actually collapse if we head back toward being the swing producer. Biden is spending Thanksgiving with David Rubenstein, who worked in the Carter administration. So I suppose that he's just going to be sitting around going, tell me I'm not as bad as Jimmy. <laughs> tell me it's not as bad. Well, you can imagine that Jimmy Carter is looking at the media thinking, wow, I really wish that you didn't care about inflation <laughs> uh, when I was president. Or, or, at least get, or at least gave the guy a little bit. Of, at least he did some things after his presidency. I mean, he's a Georgian, so I kind of like Jimmy Carter a little bit now that <laughs> no he's not president. No one doesn't like Jimmy Carter. He, he made this little sausage My place famous did. on the way to the gun range <laughs> that I stopped. But listen, I guess Biden just said, you know, pluck it, I'm going to Nantucket. That's the best oh, joke I got. Okay, right? all right. right. I, I'm getting the birds. Gotcha. I'm getting yeah. the birds. But here's the problem. We're focusing on the wrong part here. We're talking about, oh, you know, a turkey's a couple more dollars. That you're feeding into their narrative at that point. That's not what we need to talk about. It's not about the price of turkey going up a little bit. This is something that's a very accessible commodity that should always kind of be going down. Where the hurt is, is nobody just sits at home for Thanksgiving. We drive there, right? My family just drove two hours to my house, and I'm not even there. It's the best Thanksgiving they've ever had. <laughs> and and they're, they're spending hundreds of more dollars to drive down there. Yeah, energy. It's the people that can't afford to take off from an hourly job to celebrate Thanksgiving because they need to make every dollar they can. Yeah, turkey only costs a couple more dollars, and you know what? That's not even a couple more dollars thanks to inflation. So it's not the price of turkey going up. It's the price of living and going to Thanksgiving and taking time off and everything to do with life and having a good dinner. I just want to say, uh, you know, enjoy Nantucket and mooching off your rich friends. You've done it for a career. Uh, you used to mooch words off people to Let's get Jessica write a speech. In. And, um... <laughs> Jessica, why do you think the president is just so reluctant to take questions from the press? He never used um, to be. 
No, it, but he wasn't in this level. The buck didn't stop with him before he was actually at the top of the ticket, right? And sure. this is something that's been discussed for a long time about Joe Biden, that he also just spends too much time when he does it. Even if it's something that he doesn't say that goes the wrong way, they want him off the rope line. I mean, they used to do it with Bill Clinton, but Bill Clinton was the best on the rope line maybe in history. And so they would just accept that he's going to spend a couple hours there. In the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Different kind of ropes. Um, <laughs> Thank you. You're and welcome. Hang Happy Thanksgiving, them, Greg. Greg. Um, so a couple of things. One, I don't think Jen Granholm. It certainly doesn't make me embarrassed to be abroad. There are plenty of people who go into administrations where you have no I'm idea. I'm a proud broad. Like I'm a, the proudest of broads right abroad. now. And you know, Ben Carson was HUD secretary, and he's a neurosurgeon. Jen Granholm was the governor of a state. And I didn't love her response yesterday, obviously, she but laughed when I understand. Out. And Wilbur Ross held up like a Campbell's soup can. I, yeah. Listen, people make mistakes. I'm not saying that it's going well, but the real issue here is what you said originally, Dana. People can see what's going on. They know how much these things cost. These are the kitchen table issues. And to loop back to our conversation yesterday, if you're attacking these holidays, which are the things that are bringing people some joy in a very difficult time, yeah. That's not good. Well, speaking of that, up next, it's that time of year when the woke left goes ballistic on Thanksgiving. We'll be right back.